Okay, so first thing is I've got iExplorer open, and on the right I've got uh, the download, um, which is open and unpacked. Okay, on the browser I've got the instructions. So first thing you need to do is download iExplorer, follow that link, then connect your Apple device, open iExplorer, and then scroll down to com.mojang.minecraftpe then open minecraftpe.app and this is where you need to copy all of the uh, images uh, I'm going to scroll down and you can see terrain.ping which is the main skin for uh, or the main image for the textures you can see there I've already done it I've got water and lava it doesn't say you need MC patcher okay so you'll be able to tell you've done it right by checking that file so, let's get on with it. I'll be referring to iExplorer as the Explorer window, or the iExplorer window. Uh, so you download the file, you open it, and you'll see assets. So what you'll want to do is open the assets folder, and you'll see terrain and particles. So first you want to copy terrain and particles, just drag and drop into the iExplorer window. When it says, do you want to overwrite, say yes. So give it a minute, there it goes. Okay, so that's those two done. Now we're going to move on and do the mobs. Now you can put your own car.ping, which is your skin, in at this point. So you can use your own skin. So we're going to open up the mob folder and I Explorer, copy them all, drag them in, and overwrite. So we're going to overwrite all of them and there you go done right and finally we're going to go into the GUI folder and we're going to get GUI blocks GUI items and the background dot ping and they're all in GUI so uh, you use control click and because they're sort of all over the place now you'll see a lot of these and all these because um, we copy everything for the Android version of this installation um, but for this one, because we're doing it this way, we just do it picture by picture. So overwrite all them. And I think that's it. So, like I say, the Android version, you copy the entire assets folder. But I'm going to do a separate tutorial for that. So um, that's everything done for the iOS. So if you find any bugs, please let me know which version, or like what actual phone or tablet you're using um, at this point close the iExplorer window and disconnect your phone and you can go ahead and um, it'll all be working nicely as you can see on the screen here. Like I say, any bugs, please let me know and include what actual device you're using like Samsung Galaxy or uh, for the Android or uh, uh, which iPhone or iPad you have. 